College Football 25 and Madden 25 is right around the corner. Today's video is going to make you rethink the way you play and possibly get away from the meta play. Especially with the new technology of Sapien technology, getting ready for the weight and momentum, size, mattering, difference for mechanics. Also, having the wear and tear system is possibly getting you away from running the same play and having the correct personnel on the field. Especially with Phil Sense and Boom Tech being a big focus coming into Madden. So we all know over the years you're able to run the same play. And especially for Madden 24, you're able to run pretty much dollar defense, run all DBs on the field. This is a pass defense. Now, of course, Madden 24 has been a huge testing game with all the updates and patches. And literally, you know, it was a year of testing for things that's going to be in Madden 25 and College Football 25. Now, in Ultimate Team, you can't really tell a difference, and this really doesn't work too well when it comes to personnel matching, size, mattering, and things of that sort. Now, when it comes to head-to-head, -to -head, you really see a big difference, and it still showcases very well. Today, I'm going to be showcasing everything just on a basic concept and personnel matchup idea. Now, this is not to showcase a money play or a play that's dominant. You can literally do this just based off personal matchup. Now, I'm doing this particular play just to break down. Now, you can do this out of any heavy run concept formation, like single back eye formation. As long as you have the two receivers at one and two, you have a double tight end or a tight end and a fullback, just a bunch of big bodies on the field especially playing people that love to play in this particular case the meta way i'm going to show a couple online matches of me using the colts using the specific play formation and dominating with it against people that continuously sit in dollar defense now like i said you guys can do this out of any heavy set run formation in this formation of course it looks like i'm in the pass which technically it is a pass but i have heavy personnel matchups on the field. Double tight ends, just basic two receivers, and a running back. I'm in shotgun, so I can do some passing out of it as well. So you want to find something that you can have a balance with. Even out of any formation trips, whatever the case may be, if you can sub in heavy players in, you can also audible to a different formation as well, depending on the personnel that you have in the game. I mean, you guys can really make it balance and dominate, especially in the run game against people that literally sit in the same defense with the same personnel because it will tire them out throughout the course of the game. So that's another thing to take into consideration. I'm going to replay this play numerous times just to get in your guys' head, which you're going to see throughout the video, which we're going to end up just running the play once, but we're going to take snapshots and show you guys the before and after. So. In this play, which I love to run against this defense because it's gap defense. Like I say, you guys can do any run, any option, anything, as long as you got the personnel matchup. That is a big difference than what people play with on dollar defense. So, because of this, I have two-way option. Keep it with quarterback or hand it off to running back. All I'm doing is is that I'm not reading the option player. I'm reading how the defense is lined up, how they're attacking the ball, and what I'm going to do with it. So I kept it with the quarterback because I got crossing blocking. So I got a slide to the left with a backside crossing by the tight end to come back to the right, and this enables me to have one-on-one -on -one matchups. Look at the gap in this defense. This is plenty of running space. This is the thing about keeping a balanced offense, having run and pass. A lot of the people, they tend to sit in one thing and just do simple adjustments, which we're going to showcase later on. But it's good to have a mix-up. I mean, there's times where I literally just ask coach. But there's times where I take into consideration when people play like this, I'm going to stick to the same thing as long as they stick to the same thing. Once they change it up, I'm going to change it up. That's my play style. But... You take a look at his defense. He doesn't base the line. He tries to put everybody in the box, but he spreads the line. So this is where you have to make the correct judgments and reads. So 
I'm guessing that he's going to run man blitz defense, which he does. Look how many people get wide open. So we got block and pick up, five on five. Running back's open. The drag routes is open. Square is open. Guys, when you play these type of defenses and they try to switch it up, just doing a simple offense like this. Like I said, you don't have to do this offense. You can do literally anything. But it's so easy when people sit in the same defense and just try to make adjustments. Now I'm going to showcase it to you guys throughout this video over numerous players that's doing the exact same thing on defense. And that's why it's so easy for me to dominate. Now, I'm always a runner first. I improved my skills over the years by adapting to the run game. My main focus was just to run the ball. Now, I have great vision when it comes to running the ball. And you guys have seen the clips on my YouTube channel with all the highlight reels. But besides the fact, back to the video. Because I got so used to people just running this specific defense, it's easy to make the same basic reads. A lot of people just sit in base defense, so that means not many people is in the box. When they have DBs on the field, I know it's easy to run the ball. Now look what he does on defense. He tries to stack the box. He pinches his line. Pinches his linebackers. He even brings a safety down. This is going to give me an option to pretty much bounce outside and make a one-on-one -on -one matchup with a defender to make a move. You just got to read the keys on defense of how they attack this run play on the option and choose which way you're going to run the ball. You can run left. You can bounce up the middle. You can cut right off and get off to the left. Keep it with the quarterback. Use the Cut back block by the tight end. I mean, look how the blocks happen. So, I head off to the running back. I got backside block. All I got to do is just cut up field. Now, if all the players attack the middle while I handed it off, I just bounce outside. It's simple reading. Now, of course, this is all slowed down. You guys don't see that speed, but a lot of people cannot make quick reads like I do. That's why my vision is very, very good. Now, at this point, of course, I have pretty much two defenders. I like to just say one defender because the guy that's closer to me is out of position. I can just break away with speed and it comes to one on one up top to break the ankles. Moving on, he continues to show me the same look. So, once again, he's getting annoyed with me cutting up the middle. This is where a lot of people think that they can sit in the same personnel matchup, which is, in this case, a mismatch, moving people around and adjusting the linebackers and linemen. They think that's going to stop me from running the ball. Like I said, this is a gap defense, especially when people don't make any adjustments, change the formation, and try to match up with personnel. I mean, I got a heavy run offense, double tight ends, stacked in the box, and you guys see it. So look at the blocking. Once again, they're spread out. Especially when they adjust. Either if they're crashing line or crashing out. They're always focused on trying to copy what people have been showcasing them with this middle way defense. And it just simply doesn't work. Guys, there's numerous times where I showcase on my channel me going up against this formation with numerous different run formation plays. And I'm just breaking off freebies. So here we go up against the Bengals. Same idea. Same defense. Now, it does a little bit different from running the typical free safety blitz. People try to have the free safety and strong safety blitz down. Then they flip out that play to a different play because they're shot down. They're not going to go back off the ball. You guys know the whole ordeal playing people against this defense. Even you guys probably do it yourself. I have never ran all the defense. I always ran like nickel, big nickel. Um, that's just my forte. I always try the formation uh, match, especially with personnel matching as well. Once again, focus on the blocking, the attacking defense, my opponent's adjustments. So he shifts everybody to the left. 
I'm going to end up handing off the ball to the running back, but I'm going to use a cutback to follow my backside tight end blocking across the field. And honestly, could have kept it with the quarterback and took off, but this works out just as well. Like I said, I have many options, especially when running the ball because it's a gap defense. All I got to do is make the simple reads of how the defense attacks, how you know the blocking is set up, and then I just make my choice of what to do. It's all quick thinking. Like I said, this is all slowed down. So here it is, going up against the Falcons. Same concept. He put, pinches everybody. He goes over the center. He does the thing that everybody likes to do, just turn the back, I'm trying to figure out how the user this. And I'm just making the simple vision run, reading the blocks, and there it is. Right here, I end up breaking free, but it's always the one person to go up against, either the CPU or the AI. You got that one-on-one, -on -one, and then everything else, you just read your blocks. So people's going to get annoyed because they can't typically stop what you're doing. And then once you bait them, then passing becomes easy. So right here, he's in coverage, simple cover three. I always have seams going down the middle. I can either pass it to square or pass it to circle. In this case, I pass it to circle. Now, you know, he's going to make a simple adjustment because I got that deep ball to circle. He's going to put that strong safety in the hook zone to cover the middle. You just be patient, wait long enough. You can either hit the drags or the running back. Now, you can also end up throwing a quick pass to square just based off who you're looking at first on the formation and what happens during the play. So I wait a little bit, pass lead to the outside to my running back. You always find ways to hit players in zone coverage, especially because you got areas that's always going to be open. And my opponent literally sat in the same thing. So it just made things very simple. Right here, hand it off. Using the tight end as a block to help me cut up the middle. Right here, you just got to figure out what you want to do. You see a block happening, pancake block. You can either juke left or juke right. In this case, I'm going to juke right and break free. So once again, passing. See a strong safety. Puts him in the hook. I can either hit the drags at this point in time. Because they're wide open. Because he wants to go and play the other scene. Of course, once again, you can wait long enough. And you can hit the running back on the wheel route. It's going to be between the slot corner and the cornerback. Now, he ends up really not doing any adjustments. He has a spread defense right here. And guys, it's so simple once you start having a balanced offense. Because at this point, he doesn't know what to do. But he's continues to sit in the same coverage defense. This time he wants to go attack the running back. He wait long enough because it's three pass rushers. You're going to have all day. So you let the block sit up, bait him to go outside, and look, scrambling right up the middle. So even passing the ball, you have options. You just got to be patient depending on you know how coverages are played. If you want to throw a quick seam route, if they're playing cover three, or, you know, you can just wait. And also take a look at the users. I mean, this is so simple to read right here. So I'm shoot the gap, keep it with the quarterback, bounce to the outside, pretty much have one defender to beat. I can slow down easily, let I'm in, pick up the block, and, you know, I can score either way. Get down to the red zone, third and inches. Now. Of course, this is where you can bait people. You can easily pass because a lot of people run commit. That's another thing. People are going to start run committing, acting like it's going to stop. It really doesn't stop it, but you can throw people off. Now, he ends up bringing the safety down. All I got to do is hand it off, run to the left. Because everybody attacked the middle, even him. He attacks the middle. So, guys, this is so easy, man. Especially when people play like this. So, what well, I suggest you guys, especially heading into College Football 25 and Madden 25, stop doing this defense first off. Stop putting DBs at linebacker. As you guys can see, pancake blocks happen throughout this video because 
Adam 24 literally tested all this stuff. They let us test it and a lot of people didn't realize it. And then, you know, like I said, change it up because your players is going to start getting tired. So when you have the same personnel matchups, same personnel on the field, they're going to get tired eventually. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about this and your expectations for College Football 25 and Madden 25. As well, I have Madden 25 beta leaks on the Discord for those that don't know. So the link is down below in the description. Join the Discord because not only are you guys able to see that footage, but also it's a way to communicate with me and others and as well ask questions. It's easier for me to answer you guys and, you know, react. As well, the Discord is for especially the College Football 25 online dynasty league that I'm hosting. So once the game launches, I'm going to be having the online dynasty league kick off. And it's going to be for PlayStation 5 users only because, of course, for some reason, College Football 25 doesn't want to have crossplay. But, yeah, for all that, please join the Discord for communication purposes to see exclusive footage and much, much more. Once again, the link is down below in the description. Until next time, I'll see you guys later, and I'm out. Peace.